Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1, and lift off. Past experience has shown that without this scale model testing, there could be not only problems with the design loads, with the environment, uh, components could fail. Uh, so this is very critical in proving out uh, what the design loads, qualification, the environment that the vehicle will actually see, the effectiveness of the water, and whether your water suppression system as designed actually did what it was supposed to accomplish. This is essentially the brains and nervous system of your rocket. The flight computers are your brain, the, da the various data systems, uh, getting the various sensors, data from the different boxes, so kind of like your nervous system flow to the brain. Your brain is giving, sending out your signals to, through your nervous system to the different parts of your body for, uh, 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 to tell it what to do and to tell uh, if uh, how things are going. And the whole goal of being able to do this testing is, as early as possible is when we get down to the Cape, when we push that button and see the rockets fire, we want to assure that everything is going to work, work correctly and that the crew is as safe as possible. So we try to do this testing as early and often as we can in Austin. What we have here in the building is uh, RS-25 engines that are getting ready to be tested and eventually fly. We've got 16 RS-25 engines left over from the shuttle program, and since the engine was uh, highly reliable and reusable, we're able to take these engines and use them for the first four flights of SLS. Well, the stand, you know, was originally designed in the Apollo era to be very flexible, and you, you could see there, uh, there's a lot of old equipment up there from the previous testing of the, of the Saturn S1C and the shuttle main propulsion test article, and what we're doing is we're repurposing some of that old hardware, some of that structural hardware, a lot of the propellant and cryopiping uh, to make it adaptable to what's required for the SLS core stage. The United States is, is the leader in the industry. We're the leader for the world. We're providing that next 
level, that next generation exploration to space, not only for the United States, but, but for the world. Three, two, one, one.